If you're here, you're probably someone who has experienced this, a narcissist crossing your boundaries, disregarding your say, your boundaries, and disrespecting you. Is that you? Let me know in the comments. Let's keep going. My name is Lise Colucci, and I am here to help you understand and transform your life after dealing with and having toxic narcissistic people in it. Why does a narcissist cross the boundary? To get to the other side, literally, to push through, to push through you and to get their way. Remember, a narcissist believes they are superior to every other human being. They do not believe that your point of view makes a difference at all. They will pretend to when they are love bombing you, but in reality, they only care about their point of view and getting what they want. They feel entitled to other people, literally. They feel entitled to your time, your energy, your possessions, your emotions, all of it. They're entitled to it. Pushing through boundaries gives a narcissistic person control in the relationship. Have you seen this? My guess is yes. Getting you to do something that you've already said you don't want to do, pushing through and getting you to speak about things that you don't want to speak about, literally pushing on your boundaries is the ultimate control, especially for the vulnerable and covert narcissist. Because see, they don't have the grandiose appearance. They don't have the charming demeanor. They're not out there sucking the supply out of the life and people and everyone around them. They're not the centers of attention, so to speak. But in relationships, they need the power. They need the control. And covert vulnerable narcissists will oftentimes push your boundaries so hard because they need to feel power. They need to feel in control and they need to feel like, like, like you will do what they say. They don't really have a full sense of your individuality. I mean, you're there to please them, right? If you're relating to this topic, hit the thumbs up, you guys. I mean, and if you're there to serve them, so to speak, in their world, then the only boundary that matters is the one that they place. The thing is, if they break you down, if they diminish your sense of self, if they can push on your boundaries so much that you just give in at, at all costs, it makes their life simpler. Once they have that power and control, Guess what happens? The devaluing escalates. And when the devaluing escalates, then your whole world becomes about them putting you down in order to make themselves feel better. I feel like what it feels like to them is they put you down so much and then they stand on top of it. And it's like they're wearing shoes where the soles just keep getting thicker from all the crap that they're putting on you. Do you have experience of a narcissist crossing your boundaries? Let me know in the comments if you wanna talk about it and help others by sharing your experience with them. So what do you do if you have a narcissist in your life and you're trying to maintain boundaries? Let me know in the comments. Suggestions I would have are keep the conversations gray rock when you feel your boundaries being pushed on because there's a literal physical sensation when someone is trying to push you to do something or say something that is other than you wish to do or say, right? When you've already said no and they're pushing for the yes. You engage with the narcissistic person when they're crossing your boundaries. I said no. Well, you're gonna do it. I said no, blah, 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 back and forth. That's exactly what they want. That, my friends, is supply. So don't give it to them. Cut that back to the bare minimum, gray rock the situation, step away from it, take a breath, and remember you're dealing with a narcissist. Stop asking yourself why they're doing it. We just explained it here, okay? Pay attention. Don't let the boundary crossing create an inflamed and angry reaction from you because it is exactly what the narcissistic person wants and it will do nothing but hurt you. So that's just one tip. For more tips, check out the information in the main description. There is info there for peer support, for group coaching, and for one-to-one -one coaching. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.